The date is the seventh. I just like to keep things and send it overseas because here in this country, nobody really cares about law and order. Today is the seventh of March, 2019. And I'm gonna take a picture of this Baker's Bay vehicle that for the past 10 years has had no license, no this because they cannot get a taxi plate, they cannot get a livery plate, they cannot get a tall bus plate because that's not in the heads of agreement. How I know, I saw and I read the heads of agreement several times, but now we have a new minister, Renville Wells, and everybody is turning their eyes over something that has been taking the monies from the taxi drivers in Abaco. And I don't send these videos in the Bahamas anymore because when a company could sit down and negotiate with the leaders of this country to take contract from families that have been doing a business for over 50 years, I don't send videos to them anymore. I send it overseas. And I just want to show you right here, 2019. This is the biggest baby hippo right here. You see the star on it. Um, you also got documented, you see the license plate? I just want to show you the license plate. That's the license plate. And you can clearly see there's no decal on the car at all. And these people uh, continue. I'm going to keep, this is where the decal is supposed to be. There's nothing that's been on there in a long time. This is Baker's baby hiccup. And I'm going to do these videos and continue to do these videos until somebody recognizes that there should be law and order. And the thing about it is that the taxi drivers in Abaco have not had a raise in 20 years. Baker's Bay just came into an existence. And what we charge $25 for from here into Marshaba at the docks, Baker's Bay charge $100 every car. And the taxi drivers, unlike me, they're just quiet and let people just take advantage. But that's why you elect a government. A government supposed to make sure that the playing field is level. How come these guys, and the thing that I'm concerned about, what if they get in an accident? If they're not concerned about us, what about the people that they are driving? Um, how, do they get, how do they get insurance if they have not a business license to operate, not a taxi license, not a livery license, not a bus license, not a tour license? And for 10 years, two, three prime ministers, this is under three prime ministers now, and it still continue to happen on the 7th of March, 2019. The car is still picking up. Every day, the police turn a blind eye. Baker's Bay, why don't you see that star? This star here make prime minister forget their prime minister. That's a powerful star right there. The prime minister of this country that we give the power. Baker's Bay got more power than our prime ministers. How can Renville Wells, the minister responsible, allow this to happen under his new ministry? I thought these young thugs would have been happy to enforce the law. That's what they came into power for. We are better than the PLP. We are gonna make sure that this country has law and order. So far, that ain't happening. We're talking about the transportation. How could somebody come to the international airport and pick up every day off of every flight? They don't just come to the jet center. Every flight Baker's Bay is picking up off of. They don't have to stand, stand in line like we do. Obviously, they're not paying any license, so they're not paying any tax for all this transportation, and they are continuing to do it on the tree prime minister. How could that be? Only could be that way if they get some of our leaders in their pocket. 
and the saga continues. My thing is to bring the information out. The government that we elected, they are the ones that have to make sure, carry out the law. They are not doing that, haven't done it on the three prime ministers on the Baker's Bay. And that's when I said that Baker's Bay is the biggest crime written uh, um, company. People get angry that work there. But when they get fired, they give me all the information where they're docking from the government. They don't have to dock from the government. They got the government. They own the government. After so many years, the policemen, we got two brand new police uh, um, here. And they know, there ain't no excuse they could give them. They're the only vehicle that picks up and drop up an abaco that doesn't have any decal on it. No permission to do so. And the police are turning a blind eye. The government can turn a blind eye. Everybody is turning a blind eye. But Kai is not going to turn a blind eye. They are interfering with my salary. They're interfering with the rights of all of us that are legitimately licensed. And the police want to interfere with the licensed drivers every day, interrupting them. But these guys have never, ever been before the court. Has never got a ticket. And they continue to pick up every day. You're here live on WCAY. We are for Baker's Bay. There's no law in this country. The law only for the people that are Bohemians. All foreigners go free. Kai cares. That's why he's here.